What's up, guys? This is GethXL with TGM bringing you the last Black Ops video that I will be making for TGN FPS at least until after Modern Warfare 3 comes out, which is about a week's away. It's Wednesday right now, guys, so uh, it comes out Monday night or midnight Tuesday. So, yeah, we got about a week, a little, maybe six days, a little, a little less than a week, but you know weak in most people's uh most people's eyes so uh in this gameplay i go 20 and 5 uh as you guys know i don't talk about my gameplays because i mean you can see what's going on for your own for yourself um but let's get into this uh modern warfare 3 news uh it's not actually news but it is something that i think is cool that i think you guys should go and check out uh ign did a live stream yesterday and in the live stream, they got Modern Warfare 3. Uh, they were playing multiplayer. They were doing all that. Robert Bowling was there. Uh, the leader of Sledgehammer Games, I'm sorry, I don't know his name, uh, was there also answering questions um, as the gameplay was playing. And this went on for about an hour and 30 minutes. Now, I skipped about the first half hour. Because in the first half hour they did uh, they did single player I think um, so I didn't want to see any of the single player so I didn't watch any of the single player I just watched all the multiplayer and it looks amazing guys let me tell you um, if you want to go check that out I'm not sure if I'm allowed to actually post a link in the description so I'm just gonna tell you guys to go to twitch.tv and look up IGN you should be able to find it if you want to badly enough. Uh, so what else? What else do we have for you guys? Oh, speaking of IGN, now, I was watching a video the other day, and it was a TGN video, because I do watch other directors' videos quite often, um, and it was a podcast video called Down the Scope, uh, and if you guys don't know what Down the Scope is, they post it on TGN Central, and it's basically a couple of guys just talking about video games for about an hour and a half. Um, it's actually quite funny, and it's quite a good show. Um, I strongly recommend you guys go and check that out. Um, but basically what I wanted to say was IGN is doing some messed up stuff, guys. They got uh, Uncharted 3 early. And now uh, for all you guys that don't know, Uncharted 3 is a release for the PlayStation 3. Now, Uncharted 3 is the whole attraction to Uncharted 3 is its campaign storyline. Um, it's supposedly amazing in campaign, and like it's it's a game that I would love to play, but I don't have a PS3. So, what IGN did is they got the game early, right? And they started making a walkthrough already, and they're posting it up on YouTube. I mean, I don't know if this bothers you guys, but this. That, that bothers me. I mean, for a game that's all about storyline, for you to post it up on YouTube, a walkthrough of the storyline before it even comes out, before anybody even gets a chance to play it, that's just kind of messed up. I mean, that that's my opinion. Tell me what your opinion in, is in the description. Let's make a conversation out of this. Uh, so please go into the comments and comment about this. Tell me what you think. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm absolutely right. You know, post your own your own opinion ab about it. Tell me if you think it's messed up. I mean, just let's start a conversation about it because, I mean, I think it's wrong and I think it's, I think it should it shouldn't it should be something that Uncharted Three should or the the makers of Uncharted Three should go out and they should find the shit out of uh, out of IGN because that's that's complete bullshit. Uh, now. Let's get off this this downer topic, you know. I'm not I'm not here to hate on IGN, you know. They're I use them for game reviews all the time, so I'm not here to hate on them. They're they're a great company and they're doing what they're doing. I just don't agree with them putting videos out about other video games before the release date. Um so and that that does include Modern Warfare 3. Even though I did watch the live stream I still don't, uh, well, I mean, the live stream is a different, uh, different thing, because 
they had Robert Bowling there, you know, answering questions while they were doing it. So it's not like they didn't have, like, complete and utter permission to do it. Um, however, I'm not sure if they actually have permission to be putting up Uncharted 3 gameplay as of yet. But let me continue. Uh, let me move off of this subject because this video is about to wrap up in about a minute or two. So, uh, let's see. Twitter and Facebook, guys. For you guys, I have created a fan page on Twitter and Facebook uh, just for you guys. So please go and check that out. The links will be in the description below. Um, I'm gonna try to make them uh, try to make it nice. Right now, I'm working on getting. Uh, getting some pictures together or something that just represents uh, get the XL in a whole um, I'm even thinking of going so far as to change my name my gamer tag over to get the XL even though I like blade I've had blade for years um, get the XL is just becoming a more mainstream name for me so I might change it over to get the XL who knows I don't so just chill don't hate on me because I promise you I promise you, I will I will inform you if I make one decision or another. Um, but this game is about to wrap up, so I would like to remind you all to please comment, like, subscribe, go to my channel, subscribe, you know, do all that stuff. I'm not going to take over your mind this time, but I am going to ask you to please continue to like, comment, and, and subscribe my videos. Uh, don't forget to check out my Facebook and Twitter account. Thank you for watching my video. It has been a blast making this commentary for you. I actually got heated in that discussion. So, thank you guys. This has been a 20 and 5 gameplay, and this has been GethXL, signing out.